Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to create an application that will hibernate or turn on standby mode your computer at a specified time. Okay, begin from cre creating your form. Your form needs to contain a timer with interval of 1000 milliseconds, so one second, and it needs to be enabled. Okay, now go to code, create public string, our, open close parentheses, open close brackets now in these brackets create a string cur hour so this string will contain the hour the current date now create integer age int age equals date time now hour so this integer age represent the current hour in our system create integer m equals date time now minute the integer m represents the current minute of our system and integer s represents our current second of our system now we need to put it all together so cur hour equals open parentheses if this integer h is smaller than 10 close parentheses question mark and here in quotation mark zero so this means if the this integer h is smaller than 10 then it will add the zero before the hour now plus um, h to string colon h to string semicolon now hour plus equals and here in quotation marks colon plus open parentheses and the second parentheses now if integer m is smaller than 10 then the same as the question mark and in quotation 0 so if the current minute is smaller than 10 if the integer m is smaller than 10 it will add 0 before it as an in integer h now plus m to string colon m to string close parentheses and in the third plus equals colon question mark quotation mark now plus open to parentheses if the second the integer s is smaller than 10 close parentheses and the same actually as there so question mark and, and zero in quotation marks plus s to string colon s to string close parentheses and return the sorry return the current cur uh, string so this return means that this string public string hour is actually cur hour. Now in public one for public form one create label one the text equals hour. So this means whenever the application is run, whenever the application is called, so this label one doesn't contain the text label one but the current hour. Now, go to timer one, tick, and here, if sender equals equals timer one, open close brackets, and here, label one, that text, equals hour. So this is the update method every second this label is updated to the current hour with current minute and current second now if combo box one dot select text equals equals hibernate Hibernate, open 
brackets and here if combo box 2 that select text equals true brackets close and here application set suspend state here will be power state hibernate as the combo box number one represents the power state and the combo box two represents the force mode uh, force okay now else in the combo box two selected text goes true else application set suspend state power state hibernate but here is the other thing that in the ball force false okay and now for the second if the combo box one select text equals hibernate else open brackets actually copy this if uh, combo box select text equals true because it's gonna be the same but here we're gonna change that this application suspend state will be not power state hibernate but suspend the rest is the same okay now here is the confirm button because uh, as you can Oh wait, no actually, I forgot one thing. Here in this create if statement, if label one, the text equals label two, label five. In my case, label five dot text. And this if statement contains those other ifs. So this if label one equals Text that text equals equals label five. The text contains all these if statements with else and the combo box statements. Okay, let's just call them like this. And here the confirm button. If it will be clicked, then the label five the text will be will take the text of mask text box one the text. So whenever you hit the confirm button, the text from the mask text box will be actually will be written to the label five of the text. Now let's see everything's fine. Yeah, should be no problem. Now let's run it. As you can see, the zeros are here. Okay, now. Let's go to here eighteen thirty and zero zero. Okay, confirm. So see is the hour of the this hibernate and false. Okay. I can actually show you the if it works because that would that would mean I would have to hibernate or uh, suspend my computer and I don't want to really do that because if that happened I will have a big blue screen error from Cam Studio. Okay, there's actually one thing you want to uh, <laughs> you want to set these combo boxes to have uh, your own value like hibernate and here false let's say because there's a possibility possibility that uh, user won't see these combo boxes okay thanks for watching see you later